Okay, time for a new experiment. This time I took some of the liquid crystal, put it on a slide, but I put two polarizing filters on the outside of the slide, and we'll put it on the microscope and see what happens. I'm going to put a voltage, uh, I put a wire across the top of the uh, liquid crystal, and we'll see what happens here. Now I'm going to put a voltage across the wire here. Oh, wow. That wire is not actually touching the liquid crystal. It's on top of the slide. Now that's neat. Who would have thought you could find so much entertainment inside of an LCD TV? Look at that. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm applying a high voltage, probably about 3,000 volts, to the top of the slide. Huh. Let me, uh, ouch. Thing shocked me a little bit. It's low current, high voltage, low current, so it's not going to kill me, but it didn't feel very good. Alright, enough of that. Oh, look at that. Why is it doing that? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's weird. What if I put this wire up here? Huh. I'm discovering the secrets of the universe. Okay, I'm just kidding. Oh, that was weird. What I was doing is I've got this slide here that's got some liquid crystal on it. And it's got a wire down the center, and I was applying voltage to that and looking at behind these two polarizing filters. It's very interesting. You put these two together, and, and you block out the light. But then if you put the slide in between that's got the liquid crystal in it, you can see where the liquid crystal is. It sort of undoes the uh, whatever the filters do. You know, In other words, it lets light pass through when you put the slide inside of it. Very interesting. Now you can see how if you were to polarize one of the pixels, it would allow the light to come through. So it's very pretty under the microscope when I hook it up to the... Uh, high voltage